Hey there, everybody. I'm staying warm down here in the basement, and I just put a pellet stove in, and I just figured I'd show you the little wood shoot that I made for the pellets because I Googled and I YouTubed and I did all these searches, and I really didn't see what I was looking for. I saw shoots to run full bags of pellets down a stairway or down a, a back ramp or stuff like that but I wanted to be able to pour the pellets from outside into a bin inside so here's what I came up with so this is the stove itself it's a heater later brand CAB 50 it's got a high low and medium heat setting and it works on a thermostat there's the wire there and it's got a 14 inches to combustible uh, rating here. And my nearest combustible is, let's see here. We'll just measure it. 25 and a half inches, a little over. All right, my, uh, my vent stack is a one inch to combustible. And I got all kinds of room up there. I ended up going through my basement window I built a insulated aluminum backed piece to go through. You can see I've still got to do a little silicone on my chute here, but this is my chute. It's a six inch furnace duct, and it's just coming right down here to this bin. I did a little research online, and I hope it's big enough, but this is four foot by four foot by three foot deep. And apparently that's the size of a ton of pellets. So we'll see if I've got a little heap in the middle. I don't know. The purple, that probably tells you I got a little bit of a discount at Home Depot. I think I got 70% off some of this lumber because it was twisted or beat up one way or another. So that kind of kept the cost down. And that's nice. I got half inch OSB on the bottom. 7 16 OSB on the sides and uh, and with this ring around it should it should hold the sides from moving it's pretty stout so I like that what I really want to know though is how well this shoots a bag of pellets I'm hoping that uh, it's gonna work without a hitch if I need to I've got more duct work I can get more to the center but I'm pretty sure that'll work. Right here is where my, uh, my chute entrance is, and that'll be the cap. Then it'll get some insulation in, in there when I'm not using it. And uh, I just got that right there, which is just a, a register adapter, I guess. And I'm gonna just stick it on the house and pour pellets right into that. What do you think about that? I like it. I'm gonna set you up in the basement and I'm going to start shooting some pellets down. <laughs> All right, let's see how this goes. Here goes the <laughs> hey there you are it's working that's funny so as these pellets pour out of our first few bags there's just a little bit of a lip on this pipe and it keeps kind of spraying the pellets all over the place so i had an idea i've got some channel locks I 
could make it worse because it's kind of crimping it up. We'll see. Maybe I'll flatten it a little. But I'm liking it so far. I'm liking it a lot. Modifying that pipe worked very well. But as you can see, the mountain kind of starts to grow taller and taller, and we ended up having to knock it down. I think we're going to need to build a guard in the back. I like the cold. Yeah, I know. I need to make something for the cold. But... Got to warm them up a little. Yeah. Yeah. Just stick them in that thing. Warm Lay them on them. So we've got six more bags left, and I don't know. We've got probably an average of three or four inches overall depth left to go and the next piece of this puzzle is a little bucket and hopefully this one works out i don't know how tough it is how long it'll last but we're going to use the bucket to scoop the pellets to fill up the stove so that's the plan i think well with all the six extra bags that we had left to put in here i guess i didn't build that bin any too small or too big it's about just right now i'm concerned that this is going to turn into a litter box for our cats so i realize this is not the answer but it will work for now just to keep it covered so Yep, I'm going to have to figure something out for a lightweight cover that I can lift on and off easily. And we'll see how this goes. But I am pretty excited about that chute. I'm excited that I probably only have to use it once a year. But it's there now. So I'm going to insulate the, the back side of it pretty well cap it off i've got to finish my silicone job up there and all is well thanks for watching have a great day